Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C++ program to find the divisors of a natural number. So here in this program, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter a natural number and then we will display all the divisors of the number entered by the user. So let's say the user is going to enter the number 10. Then we already know that number one and this number 10, which is the number itself. These two are the divisors of this number 10. So we don't have to check for this number one and number 10. So what we do is uh, we take the number entered by the user and we start dividing it starting from two. When we divide a number, let's say Y by another number, let's say X, then if you get the reminder as zero, then it means that X is the divisor of the number Y. So here we start dividing this number by two and we will check the reminder value. So if you get the reminder as zero, it means two is the divisor of this number. Then we go to the next number. Again, we will divide the number entered by the user by three and we will check the reminder value and uh, we will display it if you get the reminder zero else we will not do anything and then we will go to the next number and similarly we will do the same thing now the question is for how long we have to do it now if you look at this number 10 then the range of values which can divide this number 10 completely or the numbers which can be the divisors of this number 10 are from 1 to 5 now we can easily say that the numbers 6 7 8 9 can't divide this number 10 completely. So they can't be the uh, divisors. And of course the number 10 will uh, do it, but we are not going to check for this because we already know it. So here, if you remove this number one and if, uh, if you remove this number 10, then the range of values which can divide this number 10 completely are from two to five. So here, this five, which is the maximum value in this range, is actually the half of this number 10, which is number divided by two. So here uh, we will uh, continue to do this until we reach number divided by two. So now let's see how we can write the C++ program for this. Here I have uh, written some code already. I have included the iostream header file so that we can use the input and output stream. And then I have mentioned that we are going to use the features defined inside the std namespace like c in c out. And then I have this main function, which is the entry point of our program from our perspective. Now, the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables that we are going to use in this program. The first variable that we need is for storing the number entered by the user and uh, i'm going to call it as number and i'm going to take integer type and then we will ask the user to enter the natural number to find out the divisors so here we will say enter the natural numbers and then i'm going to add this end line and after that we will use the c in and we will read the number and we will store that in this number variable now the next thing that we do is we will use a c out and we will say the divisors of the number r and here i'm going to directly print out the number one and the number itself so i'm going to use a c out in here and i'm going to display one and then i'm going to add a space and then i'm going to display the number itself so it will be number and then I'm gonna insert a space. Okay, now the next thing that we do is we will uh, start dividing the number uh, entered by the user from two and we will display all the divisors. So I'm gonna use a for loop in here and in this for loop, we will use a loop counter variable and I'm gonna call it as divisor and we will initialize this with a value of two and the condition will be divisor less than or equal to number divided by two. And then we will increment the value of this divisor variable. Now here, what we do is we will check out the reminder value that we get when we divide the number entered by the user by the value present in the divisor variable for every iteration. So we will perform number modulus divisor, 
what we get as the reminder value whether we get the reminder as zero if we get the reminder as zero when we divide the value stored in this number variable by the value stored in this divisor variable for a particular iteration then it means that the value present in this divisor variable is the divisor of the number so we will display that number so i'm going to use the c out in here and we will display divisor and then we will insert a space in here okay now we have uh, written the program let's run this enter the natural number i'm going to enter 10 now you guys can see it will display the divisors of uh, the number 10 are uh, 1 10 2 and 5 and i'm going to close that and i'm going to insert this number in here and then i'm going to run it and this time i'm going to enter let's say 20 and it will say 120 2 4 5 and 10. now in your program if you don't want to display this number one and the number itself like the way that i have done here then you can modify this program i'm going to comment it out and you can start this divisor from one you can start dividing the number from one and you can run this loop um, until we reach a value which is less than or equal to number so now it will display all those divisors starting from one up to number so we will run it and this time i'm going to enter 10 now you guys can see it will display 1 2 5 and 10 previously uh, when i entered 10 it was displaying 1 10 2 and 5 so here in this run it will be making a bit more calculations but in the previous run it was uh, performing uh, less calculations so this is it guys for this video this is how you guys can write a simple c++ program to display the divisors of a number entered by the user if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video